nice to see. Beautiful African pompano right there. Oh, it's coming up. Look at that. Yes. This is even bigger. Look at the color on that guy. Something on that bottom rod. Stud button right there. Everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to Maritime Expeditions. We're out here today. Nice day on the Pathfinder. Decided to take the Pathfinder out to the reefs today, but mm -hmm. we're gonna go look for some bait here in the morning and try and do a little bit of reef fishing. Some bottom fishing, patch reefs. New to me. Yeah. Like a lot of things that are gonna be on this channel. It's a lot of firsts for me. Never caught a mutton snapper, a grouper. Yeah. I mean, the list goes on, but. That makes it easier for me because uh, anything <laughs> she catches, it's I look good, so that's good for me, so. We're gonna try and find some bait here in the morning, but we're gonna see what we can get into today. Hoping for, like you said, hoping for some muttons, some groupers. Mm -hmm. Heard the bottom fishing's been pretty good, but you never know where the day may take you. Last video, we went to try and do sail fishing and ended up with amberjack. But it still ended up good. We so. got a little bit of that smoke fish dip in the cooler right now, though, so I'm happy that we ended up with some amberjack last well time. Well worth it. Yeah, so we're gonna head out and see what we can get a hold of. So, we'll see you there. Let's do it. All right, guys, we got a little bit of a later start. We were messing around trying to catch bait this morning. The mullet were hard to catch, They're really fast, really spooky. So luckily on days like today where you can't find the bait or the bait's being difficult, we got lucky enough and there was a guy selling bait in the channel actually. So we were able to get a couple pinfish. We don't need a ton, so we just bought a dozen or two and we're heading out to the wrecks right now. We got a couple mullet that we caught and those pinfish and we should be good to go. So we got a short day today, so we're gonna try and make the most of it. So. We'll see you out there. All right, guys, we just pulled up to the wreck here. We're going to drop some baits down, see what we can do. We got the trolling motor on spot lock right now and I'm gonna drop some of those pinfish down see if anything's interested, so let's get it going. Real, real, real. What you got? I'm not sure. What you got on there? We're about to find out. I've been sitting here all day with nothing so far. You're breaking the ice. Get the skunk off the boat now, come on. You're gonna make mine go down too, hopefully. Something eating that pinfish, it's gotta be pretty big. Hopefully, nice mutton or a grouper. I think I lost it. Wait, them. you did. You got bit off there. That looked like a, a oh, mutton geez. or something was crunching on him. Hopefully yours gets hungry and goes and gets my bait because that's exactly what we're looking for right now. But, better luck next time, right? Yep, just get another bait. Try again. Probably something small. I was fighting. Bit my bait on the way down, actually, as I was sending it down. But let's see what we got here. Cuda. Big Cuda. Cuda got me. That's the way fishing goes. You win some, you lose some. Lose most, win some. That's kind of how today's been going. I don't know what I've got on here. Got hit on the bottom though, so hopefully something better. Something nice though. It's going up, it's going up, move. Let's see what we got here. We got our trolling motor on spot lock. 
which has been nice keeping us in the spot that we need to be. Nice and convenient. Getting a lot of head shakes from this guy. Whatever it is. He's fighting. Got color again. Come on, be something nice. I'm ready to take off the weight. Oh, it's oh. coming up. Oh, it just made fun. It's the AP. It's the AP. Dude, nice AP. Get that weight, get that weight. Oh, there's corners around them. Nice AP. Come on. There we go. Turn around. Check that out. Thank you. <laughs> Check wow. that out, guys. It's my first time ever seeing one of these. Beautiful African pompano right there. These guys are just some of the most beautiful fish you will ever see out here in the ocean. They got wow. these long streamers on them, and they are just a sight to see, and they taste even better. Some of the most beautiful colors on any fish in the ocean, in my opinion. They're, they school up on these wrecks during the springtime and they make for great eating. They're a fun fight. It's a perfect size one here. And just super excited. It looks almost like a rooster fish. Yeah, they kind of do. This is crazy to me. Yeah, their streamers are insane. How long they are for a guy that size, I mean. And his color is just crazy. I mean, yeah, that you can see him coming up, you see the sun glistening on him. And yeah, I saw him coming up. I was like, oh, it's probably a cuda or something. I'm not that worried about it. And then I'm like, that's AP. That's crazy. Get that guy in the box. But beautiful beautiful fish super nice let's get him in the box get them all nice so he's nice and ready to go fits perfect in that yeti right there that's what i'm talking about give me some nice on to the next one let's go dude i can't even get a a freaking rod down and she's hooked up left and right Here we go. Let's see what I got. Well, now that you got one, I guess it's my turn. I hope so. <laughs> Double up on the APs here. They Just they do it. school, so. Just taking more. You never know. You whooping your butt? Or are you doing all right? Um. You're doing all right. I'm doing okay. When I tell you, we've been drifting all day. There's been absolutely no current anywhere. We've drifted past reef. Good bottom, two different wrecks, and we're finally oh, here. Oh, he's coming up. And we're hooked up. What do you got there? I see some color. I see color. What you got? Could, dude, if this is another AP, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been on a boat where we caught two APs in one day. Keep reeling, keep reeling. You got him. You're at the finish line. I see your weight. It's another AP. Oh my God. No way. Okay, stop reeling, stop reeling. I stopped, I Bring stopped. It He's even bigger. Oh my. Look at the color on that guy. Goodness. All right. Look at that, That's guys. That's crazy. Absolutely insane. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little out of breath from that guy. <laughs> you got him? I think so. Yeah. Beauty. See, this guy doesn't have hardly any streamers. It's kind of crazy. That last one has oh, streamers yeah, out to long. here. And this guy hardly any, but. Look at that guy. Man, what a beautiful fish. What a fight. That's awesome. You my first cannot. Ever ask for anything more than that coming out Woo. bottom fishing down here first got ever. people cheering us on in the background but wow. absolutely crazy guys two ap's two drops literally back to back drops basically yeah. i told you they were school and i said hey might have a chance to get another one here but insane guys just crazy, absolutely crazy, crazy. insane wow. we got the double on the ap's that's insane we just both realized this is both of our first african pompano i've actually never caught one i've been on the boat with people that caught them but and if I can Definitely say so myself, first. I think mine is a little bit bigger than his. Well, you, you know, typical fashion, she's always got to outdo me just a little bit. But like I said this morning, I look pretty good when I put her on fish that she's never caught. Yeah. Today I put myself on one that I've never caught, so we're pretty, we're pretty stoked. But I think it's definitely beginner's luck for me. Beginner's luck, I'll take it. Get the streamers on that guy. Compare him to this one, this guy doesn't really have many. Studs, just absolute studs. Unbelievable. Awesome, awesome, awesome afternoon. day. Yeah. Look at that. Picked it up here in the middle of the day. We're gonna keep getting after him, but that is just as good as it gets. The best. Well, now we have 
still plenty of bait, so who says we can't catch any more or anything else, honestly. We're going to try and do something. All I can say is wow. It's, uh, honestly, was... same here. I'm pretty speechless. Like, that is the last thing I was expecting to catch today. Before we came out, you were telling me about them, but you were like, well, maybe we probably won't catch any, but now yeah. we have two. I mean, it's not every day you catch African Pompano yeah. regardless, but to catch two and for both of us to catch them on back-to-back -back drops like that is just Crazy. insane, insane. So I, I'm just so happy right now, <laughs> honestly, I, I can't even speak straight. Like we have worked all day yeah. putting in the work, finding the bait, Waking up early. I made Sophie wake up early on her Saturday. She probably wanted to kill me, but is it worth it? Yeah. It was worth easily. it. Got out here in the Pathfinder, we a went, little choppier than the weatherman said, but. We went from spot to spot, trolling, no current. We were kind of giving up, or losing hope, I guess you can say. Yeah, the persistence paid off. I think it was the Spanish music that got things going, unfortunately. That was my idea. Yeah, it was Sophie's idea, but. Man, guys, just awesome. We're gonna get back into them and see what else we can pull up before we have to head home here, but just crazy, having a crazy, great day. Crazy. Great day. On again. It's not taking long right now. If this is another one, we're gonna have to let them go, but I'll catch these things all day. I don't mind. They fight great. They look awesome, but I'll take a little mutton or something right now too. It would be nice. little variety what you think so I hope so that's kind of what I'm hoping for over here Just waiting for something to bite so it doesn't feel as big nice mutton oh my dude called it into existence <laughs> stud mutton right there wow come on I mean that's come nice. on one of my favorite fish all of the keys sometimes the money spent on bait is well worth it bringing home fish like that two nice ap's and a mutton in the cooler can't complain about that what you think ap's for the sashimi and then a mutton snapper dinner sounds good to me that sounds good to me too there's nothing like fresh fish whichever no. way you eat it i mean it's just out of this world might be ready to go home might be ready to call it quits but you try one more spot and it turns out for you nothing more rewarding so i will say this was our first spot of the day. <laughs> and I'll say it myself, I did lose two. I, one of them I got eaten off. Wait, did. I think I have something. Oh my. Do I? No, I don't. Anyway. You might. I will say that this was our first spot of the day and I'll take the blame, but I did lose two fish. One I got eaten off and the other one I'm sure the same. Drove around for a couple hours, nothing. And I said, well, why don't we go try our first spot again? And we came back and Look what we've done. Gentlemen, that's a lesson. Always listen to your wife, even if she knows nothing about fishing. I really don't. You take her advice because sometimes that's how it works. And I think it's beginner's luck also. It, I don't care what it is, let's <laughs> just keep it going. I, I, it's just whatever it needs to be. But yeah, she lost those two in the morning. Condition switched up, so we figured we'd move, but now we're back and we are in. Good job. Feeling in our last pinfish here. I think he's seen his days. So I'm gonna get this guy in. But all around, just a great day today. Got the African pompanos, got that nice mutton. And we don't need anything else. We've got a cooler full of fish. We've had an awesome day. So when you say we head in and get this stuff cleaned up. Nice early day for you. I'm sure you enjoyed yeah, that. It is really hot out. It is Been hot out. out. For a long time. You gotta hydrate when you're out here. It is scorching hot, but laid down real nice in the afternoon and just ready to get back home. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Pulling back up to the dock now. Successful day. Very successful. Very, very successful It took day. some time, but it was well worth it. You know, you put your hours in, you put your time in, and sometimes it pays off, and today it did, fortunately, so. 
super happy with how it went. Got super, those two nice happy. APs, a nice mutton. It's gonna make some great dinner. And just super thankful. I mean, more and more I'm just thankful for being down here and being able to do this stuff. And yeah. Filming these videos is just giving me a whole new level of appreciation for what we have down here. And I don't know, just days like this is a perfect day. It just makes me really happy. Yeah. So we're gonna get back to the dock here and I'm gonna start cleaning these fish up. So we'll see you there. If you ask me, that's a good looking fish table. Heck of a day. Awesome time out there with the wife. Can't ask for much more than that. African pompano are one of my favorite fish to eat. They're a great fish for sashimi. You can do just about anything with an African pompano. It's just such a good, clean fish. So I'm gonna show you how we clean them because they are a little funny when it comes to cleaning them. So I'm gonna start here. On the bottom, I got a real thin knife. They don't have real thick bones or anything, but kind of like a mahi, they have that head meat that goes all the way up to the top there that you want to try and get. We're just gonna come down his back. They got a funny shaped body, so sometimes it can be hard to kind of pinpoint where you want to cut, but just let your knife kind of guide you and go along those bones. Now that we got them cut up on that one side, we're just gonna work our way down the fillet. Let the tip of the knife guide you on where that those bones are. Just come across his back nice and easy. We're gonna separate that head meat under that and just look how clean and beautiful that meat is translucent beautiful white meat we're coming along his rib cage now I'm gonna go right over those ribs you can cut through them but just makes it harder later on so go right over that rib cage under his back there like I said, that odd shaped body, that meat goes all the way down to that fin down there on the bottom of them. What you're left with is, in my opinion, one of the best tasting fish in all of the ocean. One of my favorites to eat. It's a treat when you get them. We don't get them often, so we're really gonna enjoy it. But Sophie's gonna do something nice with it. I don't know if we're gonna do a little sashimi, a little sushi roll, what yet, but, but we'll see what she's gonna make for us when we get up to the kitchen there, so. We'll see you up in there. All right, guys, we're back in the kitchen now. Sophie's prepared some of this African pompano for us. It looks absolutely delicious. Little simple setup. Um, definitely easier than last video. Charles had already cleaned the fish, so luckily my job was just to cut it and put it together on a plate. And sometimes the simplest preparation is the best. So I'm gonna let you do the honors. How does it taste? Let's see. I've heard so many good things about how good this tastes. So I'm excited. Got a little ponzu sauce there Got a little piece. to dip it in. Dip in the ponzu. How is it? Mm. First time trying African pompano. Mm. Super soft. It tastes amazing. It's like butter. Wow. Okay, I'm going for my second one. One and then of, it's your turn to try. One of my favorites. You gotta try it. If you leave me any. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, let's see how it tastes. One of my favorite fish. It's been a while since I've had any. So I'm definitely excited to try it again. Man. That's unreal. Yeah. I'm going in for a food. It's like wahoo or like tuna when you eat it raw. Just so much better than cooking it. Mm. Just so much better. Man. It doesn't get more fresh than that one. No, say. it's fresh, zero fishy taste at all. Mm -mm. Just pure white meat. Amazing. And all you need is a little ponzu sauce. You don't need mm. anything else. That's it. Unreal. Unreal. So good. One of my favorites, I'm sure one of your new favorites now. Yeah. I had never had it. I had never caught it. I mean, That's why it's such a lot a treat. of firsts and it's amazing. Yeah. Just an awesome time. Being able to catch them is 
half the fun, and the second half is being able to eat them when you get home. So That's we've already sure. given out probably half of this fish to family and friends. We gave out all that fish dip that we made too, and just being able to share that and share those experiences with you and with everybody else. It's fun. Just That's really awesome. makes it. So we really thank you guys for following along and keeping up with the videos. Like always, we got more coming, so just stay tuned for those, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. See you in the next one. Thank you.